guys, welcome to another one. So we're not messing about today, we're getting straight in it. I'm straight in the hole here, new site, new place. First find, Mason's OK sauce. Not a bad colour really. Uh, second one was the tablespoons. And then this one actually was just lying on the surface. Nice blue one. Nice one there. But yeah, we're in a nice new place here, so straight into the ash straight away, no messing about. So let's get on with it. Right, so we've moved on from that spot now into the new one. This is the new wall, just getting down now. I've had a few little bits out, I'll show you on the tree here. Got myself a nice fork there, it's got some markings on back, so I'll look at that when I get back. And then that there, it's an unusual shaped pipe. Would have had a square, square stem coming off. Not seen one like that before. And then, if I can just try and get it back out of here now. Oh God. So we've got like a plain poison. Oh, that looks now. That does look nice. That. Who brought me then? Just <laughs> glue it together. <laughs> Couple of plain ones over there. It's a nice one. Nice colour. Nice big one. But yeah, we're just getting down to it now. Bruce is a little bit deeper than me, so he's been getting the bottles out already. I'm just waking my way down. Look at this, just as soon as I stop the camera. Look at that for a bottle. Look at that. Thomason's... Thomason's again. <laughs> Specialities, Bolton. It looks like a little hand of just passing your beer. What a beauty that is with the original stopper as well. That is a good find, that, mate. I'm going to pretend that we've lost that one. It's going in my bag. <laughs> So we're a bit deeper again, getting deeper and deeper. The finds are still coming out. Probably about four and a half foot maybe. Nice little pipe there. That's another strange one with that. Just like a triangle point again. Nice early poison. Sheer top poison. Got a nice dint in the back, I don't know if you can tell that. As always, they'll be washed at the end, but lovely little ink there. Nice little blue one. Nice that. But uh, yeah, just a case of carrying on. Nowhere near the bottom yet. Still going and going. Lucy's about a foot deeper, two foot deeper than me as well, and this is still going. It's got something on there. Nice bit of label. So finally, a bit of live digging for you. Two together there. And presumably that is just a jam jar, and it's half a one. <laughs> Let's hope that this is full, at least. Oh, there's the neck. There we go. What is she? Oh, that's just a plain one. Just a plain one. Nice colour though. And roughly, probably about six foot deep now. Maybe just over. Uh, I'm pretty much at the bottom. Just been turning some of the stuff over just to make sure there's nothing on the bottom, but we we'll start caving the sides in now. So I'll try and set you up somewhere where you can see. Hopefully that's not the worst angle. Another varnish. Not a bad one now. Nice neck on it. Teapot. Got a brew? Go on, it's near enough full apart from lid. <laughs> yeah, I bet there's only room for one. Right. I want one of them Thomas bottles, there's got to be another one in here somewhere. <laughs> Hopefully mate, you never know. Oh. 
little milk of magnesia there, little tiny one. Little milk of magnesia. Little blue one. Yeah. HP pickles. Bit of zero label there. the sides before I can get out of here. Is that beat now? It's hard to tell how good the angle is on that. Got a full plant pot. Not yeah, I've not found a full one before, but I might actually have to keep that. Put some in it. Bit of lead there for this. California fixer. It's everywhere in here. Look at how. Oh, big lid. Not all St. Helens. The big one, isn't it? It's a big one. Oops, almost fell out. Fell into fever cure. A bit of label stone. Got loads of them. You found a few of them then, fennins. Have you got, oh, got some here now, yeah. Bone. Got about 
off arc for a minute, pal. I'm alright. You've done your side, yeah? yeah. Yeah, there's quite a few inside, there's nothing great. Oh. Got a green spoon. <laughs> Got a green, green spoon. <laughs> That's the uh, stop the noise, that'll just come straight off. Stop the wind. This side again. Hmm. Where can I put you, camera? How good that is, but. So just starting to fill in now, putting the bottles back in we didn't want. And then that little beauty came out the side. Not to be taken, internally. Nice big poison. Do you say it's Lysol, mate? You reckon? I reckon it could be. You think so, yeah. It's got a really strong disinfectant smell. So it probably, yeah, it could be. It stinks. And then there's just a couple of what I'm taking home and cleaning. So as always, you'll see them later. Just noticed on that one there that it says uh, that the expiry date is August the 21st, 1906. That's nice, so I'll keep them ones and then you'll see you at home. So just before we go, I'm going to show you what Lewis is keeping. It's got them big, two big nice ones there. Sanitizer disinfectant. What's that one? Dinniford's Magnesia. That little thing there is quite fragile, isn't it? It's in two, two pieces. Maybe some kind of little snuff box or something, maybe. Who knows? Little ink, nice one. That's sheer top ink. Got this little thing here, you can just see. And then it's got a house of a lady, it's a farm farm kind of design. Hopefully, mate, you can get that back to looking at. Like yeah, yeah. So. Hopefully, yeah. And then the best find of the day, it's got to be this one, isn't it? The Thompson's XL trademark quality. It is, isn't it? It's a beauty, that, and the original stopper. Brilliant. Right guys, so here we are, with the stuff cleaned up from that day. Uh, just in the greenhouse here now, just give you a quick quick look through. Just before I do, I did want to say thanks to, to everyone who's been subscribing recently. You know, I really appreciate it, I'm almost at a thousand subscribers now, which is great. Uh, and then when I do get to a thousand, I can get the community page. Stuff like, so the dig that you've seen on, on this video, these bottles here obviously, the day before I actually went digging as, as well at a different location, but only managed to come up with one which was that one there, it's a nice little one, little, nice little sheer top but obviously I can't do a video for one bottle so I can actually put pictures up when I get to a thousand and get that community page so people can see that I'm still digging even though when I'm not doing videos it's just I'm not finding anything so right let's get into it now so first of all we'll start with these stoppers here We've got a nice little Fletcher's sauce there, I've never seen them with the ridges round like that before so it's quite a nice little, quite a nice little find Urbson and Bolton just kept that to use for another bottle that I've got with a Bolton on. We've got the little doll's leg there. Looks like she's got some stockings or something on. It's a bit bust at the front, but that one. Same again with a hand. Put a little pot hand. Uh, the fork does have some, some markings on the back there, so it's probably silver plated or something along them lines. I've not actually looked that up yet. Uh, onto the pipes. A bit of a chipped one there, but... It seems like there's some weird shapes coming out of this one. That's like a, a weird stem that would have come off that one. Same as that one. I've never seen a pipe like that one before. It's a very strange shape. And then, yeah, it's like a like a, a diamond kind of shape that comes off it. Where the stem would have been. That would have been an interesting one to see. Uh, this little thing, I'm not too sure what this is. I think it may be off like a handle. 
just like the look of it, so I kept that. Uh, right, where should we go on to now? Should we go on to this little beauty of an inkwell? Look at that. Absolutely lovely. It's not the quantity, it's the quality. I would have dug all day just for something like that. If you can see the the bubbles in there. Lovely that. Very nice. Uh, we've got a nut or lid there or something. Probably a jar lid or something. And then you might remember that I said about this milk of magnesia that I thought it was 1906. That's actually the patent the patent office is August the 21st, 1906. You can see that's got a like, nice crest on it there. Oh well, that's picking up, but yeah, so that's just that. I reckon that this is probably about the 20s or 30s maybe. Probably 30s. And then we've got the chemical company, Chas Phillips, Chembrook. All them kind of things, yeah. So it's still not too bad. These two here are for the same people. Still need a little bit more of a clean. But that's James Warwicker's Celebrated Varnish Bolton. It's a nice bottle as well. Look at the neck on that. Very nice. Uh, it's just a plain one there. Again, it looks nice. It's got some nice bubbles. Crudely made, so we like that one. And then we've got... The poison is just a plain sheer top one, but with them ridges it would have been a poison, I'm presuming. Strange, like, uh, dint in the back of it there. It's not melted or anything, but, yeah, another nice one. That's a, and this one, this one that Lewis found, which is such a strange colour, and he didn't want it, so I decided to take it. With the applied lip on there. It's a strange green colour, that. That's really nice. Uh, the, again, big plain one, but it's nice blue, so... Decided to keep it. Uh, let's have a look at the plant pot, shall we? Look at that. Probably would have been handmade by somebody. It's got to be at least 100 years old. Years old. Needs a bit more of a clean inside. It's a shame that it's got that on that side, some rusted metal or something there, but even so, it's a nice little pot that. I'm going to use that for something. And then we'll get on to. I'm just trying to decide if this is my favourite or that little ink well is, but. Anyway, not to be taken internally. And now this is a Lysol, like we said when when we was there, like Lewis said. Uh, it's like a disinfectant cleaner kind of thing. But again, it's got some lovely bu bubbles in it. Nice amber. And the little poison stars kind of things on the side there. So very nice. I'm very happy with that day. It's been a while since we've had a good successful dig. But um, yeah, I'm going to be back there again at some point, so look out for that video. And yeah, thanks for watching and thanks for subscribing, like I say, thanks.